Uh, police are on the hunt for gun-toting car thieves after two drivers were carjacked in East Tulsa. The spree started last night just before 10 in East Tulsa at a car wash. About an hour later, another carjacking. Fox 23's Abby Alford is reporting live right now to show us what patrol officers are doing to catch these armed robbers. Abby? Sure, just 10 minutes after the first carjacking, an officer patrolling the area found that stolen red Dodge Caliber in a parking lot like this where these apartments are all boarded up. I rode along with an officer who says it's abandoned apartments like this where thieves will often dump their loot. With a pair of carjackers on the run, officers are checking out hot spots where they hit between 31st and 21st and Highway 169 and 145th East Avenue. Certain uh, um, apartments, uh, certain hotels. Like these boarded up apartments across from Eastland Mall. They're known as sweet spots for thieves. Since there's not many people here, it's, you know, they can think they can get away with it and, and drop things off here. That's where an officer found a stolen car 10 minutes after thieves jacked it from a man washing his car near 21st and 129th. Easy target type of thing. Crime trains show thieves often don't stray too far from where they stash their loot. They'll probably live nearby because not all of these are abandoned. An hour after the pair jacked a car from this car wash, another victim had a gun pulled on him and thieves stole his Mustang. We have uh, apartments over here that we get quite a few calls at. Half hour later, that same officer landed at these apartments, not even a mile away, and found the stolen car. This one seemed to be more of a, a joy riding. They're just kind of doing it for fun, getting that many that quickly. Still, these punks are armed and should be considered dangerous. A lot of times their intention is not to shoot someone, but something happens, there's an accident or they get upset and people get hurt or killed. If you ever come face to face with a carjacker, police recommend that you do not resist. Instead, if you are in your car, make sure that you lock your doors and always make sure that you never roll down your window for someone you don't know. Also, make sure that you're not distracted by staying on your cell phone or looking down and texting. Get rid of it. Reporting in East Tulsa, I'm Abby Alford, Fox 23 News. Abby, thank you. Robbery detectives say on average there are about four carjackings a month. In just the last week, there have been about five. If you do have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS.